Lauren Zakalik has been out and about today. She's talking more about ragweed, how long the season lasts, and maybe, Lauren, if we could see some remedies. It is summer's last stand here in North Texas. Light wind, abundant sunshine. For some, this weather is glorious. For others, but that's all I talk about with my friends in class. It's misery. So I'm like, I'm dying, and they're like, me too. TCU student Emily had just finished her appointment at the University Health Center. So my mom was like, you have to go. I'm tired of hearing you complain about this. It was allergies that brought her there. For the past two years, it's just absolutely killed me, like worse than it's been in a really, really long time. And it's not in her head. It seems to be getting worse every year. Dr. James Hayden of Fort Worth Allergist says mild winters and summers plus rain allows ragweed to just keep growing. The nasal congestion, sneezing, drainage, coughing. That translates to this. Especially the eyes this fall so far. So what if you love the outdoors? You don't want to spend your weekend inside, but your allergies are just killing you. Well, we asked the doctor for his best advice to getting you feeling better quickly. Make sure you're taking your medications before you're exposed to your allergens. Wear wraparound sunglasses to protect your eyes from the pollen. And after you've been outside? Take off the clothes that are covered in pollen. Rinse your hair out. Pollen will stay in your hair for a long time. For Emily, staying inside is not an option right now. I think I'm going to have to just deal with it. It's parents weekend at TCU. She hopes the meds kick in soon. And as much as I hate to end this story on a bad note, Dr. Hayden says ragweed season doesn't end until late November or the first freeze, whichever comes first. I'm sorry. In Fort Worth, Lawrence Akalik, Channel 8 News.